Today we are going to go over very, very highly priced bourbon slash whiskeys and how you should stay away from them. Or you must be crazy. Let's go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. I truly appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for checking out the channel, checking out this video. If you have not yet done so, please do me the favor and subscribe. That will really help me out. Um, only favor that I ask, but you could also, if you're feeling generous, like, comment, click that bell icon, and check out the Patreon in the description. Any little bit will help. Well, we are doing our third video of You Must Be Crazy. Because, yeah, I have seen some bourbons out there in the wild with some crazy, insane pricing. And we're going to get into those right now. And basically, if you're buying these at that price, you must be crazy. Before we get into it though, I want to uh, let you guys know what I'm drinking here. Cheers. I told you I'm not a rye person, but there are ryes that I like. If you haven't seen my last video, it's about the Sagamore eight year old rye, but this isn't Sagamore. This is actually Peerless Straight Rye Whiskey. Now, I freaking love this. Somebody recommended it. They said, trust me, you're gonna like it. I didn't trust them too much. <laughs> That's why I bought the little one. Plus this is expensive, this is like a hundred bucks. Almost, um, like 90 bucks, something like that. But I'm glad I tasted it, guys. This is really freaking good. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to, um, I'm just noticing that there's little things floating around in the liquid, so. Maybe I shouldn't drink the rest of it. Um, but once I'm done with this, I'm gonna buy an actual big bottle and just, you know, I am gonna spend that money because this is really good. But with that said, the reason that I am drinking that is because I've been reminded to drink it because that is one of the first ones that we're gonna talk about today. Peerless Rye Whiskey at $150. First off, right off the bat, you must be crazy for selling this over the counter, easily to find, at least here in South Florida, rye whiskey at $150. Now, yes, peerless rye whiskey is a little expensive either way. In my area, I find it at $90 at my local Total Wine, but you can find it there. It's always there, always, at all the Total Wines that I go to. It's never out, it's there along with their bourbon, their regular bourbon. And for this place to sell it for $60 more, you must be crazy. Now, I haven't seen it there before. So maybe they just got it and they just threw it up on the shelves and they think that, uh, that it was gonna sell that way. $150 for this, you must be crazy. And store that is selling this, you must be freaking crazy. But also, look at this one right next to it. Peerless Double Oaked. Guys, I love Double Oaked bourbons. I love it. It's it's just my thing. I really like it. Toasted and Double Oaked. Those are my favorite type of bourbons. I was actually looking for this, but I'm not gonna buy it at $150. It's not worth it to buy it at $150, considering the fact that this one has been reviewed by others and they're saying that it's not much better than the Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. Right? So why pay $150 when I can get wood for the reserve at $50? Now, if this was at MSRP, which is like $75 to $95 is what I've heard people have seen it out there, because I haven't seen it out there except for this store, which is probably why they have it hiked up. But still, if it was at that price, I would definitely consider it. But at $150, store, you must be crazy because I don't understand how somebody would pay for that 
But with that said, I could understand why somebody would pay for that one versus the rye more because you can find the rye. This is like, I was just like, I was dumbfounded, quite honestly. <laughs> So the next one here is, let me take a, a sip of this, let me finish it. I'm not going to take more because that's looking a little suspect right now. Some things are floating in it and I think it's from the cork. So I guess that's a pour out and it sucks because I really do like it. Anyway, the next one here on this list I do have and I overpaid for this. I paid over MSRP. I didn't overpay. I think it's still worth the 10 bucks or 11 bucks over MSRP that I paid for it. This is the FAE-02, the limited release at the end of the year of Maker Smart. I finally found one. I usually get mine at Total Wines. I'm usually there, but I guess I missed this year's or this end of year's shipment and I couldn't find it anymore. But I did find it at a store for 75 bucks. Usually this is $64 in my local total wine so I had no problem paying the extra $11 to get this because I haven't seen it before until I went into this store and this store is selling it at $150 Wow guys almost a hundred dollars over MSRP $90 over MSRP because true MSRP is $60 right at my total wine it's $63.99 I paid $75 for it but still $150 I don't know if this store because this is all the same store by the way I don't know if this store is just going crazy and just putting $150 price tags on everything that they got in that they usually don't get but that is straight up crazy you must be crazy for asking people to pay $150 for a $60 MSRP bottle, yes, I understand it's a limited release. It's getting good reviews, great reviews. But guys, let me give you some context. Last year, the SE4 PR5, the RC6, the FAE01, I was able to find them. I already have bottles of those and I bought them at my local MSRP, which is $63.99. But I was seeing them for $75 at other li little stores and I was and I was being like a little snob. I was like, "Huh. Why would I give you $10 more or $11 more at that point?" Because I wasn't able to find this, I didn't have no problem selling it at that. So, we're talking about that a year ago, I could find one of these limited releases at $10 or $11, $12 over MSRP or my local MSRP. And now people are asking for $150 on this? That is just insane. You must be crazy if you're purchasing FAE02 at $150. Another context that I will give you, and sorry to beat the dead horse, Flaviar had it, and I was actually thinking about buying it. They had it for $111. I was thinking about buying it. I was like, oh, I don't know. I, I have to search for it though. It has to be cheaper. And I'm glad I did and buy it. But they had it at $111. After you pay taxes and shipping fees, it still comes out cheaper than what this store is charging at $150. And Flaviar is like supposedly uh, one, of these one of these online stores that asks for so much money for bourbon and they were still selling it for cheaper than this store. Crazy. You must be crazy if you're purchasing that at 150 and you must be crazy store for putting that for sale at $150. All right, so next one is not as bad as the other two, but it's still kind of bad. You guys know that I love my double oaked and my toasted bourbons. And if you don't know, now you know. So with that said, this next one, I actually have two bottles of. I have this one that I have here in my bar and I have a backup bottle. But I can clearly say that I still overpaid for these over MSRP. So MSRP on these are 50 to $60. This is Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. I truly love it. This is a hit or a miss with some people though. You either love it or you hate it. 
I love it. I would pay over MSRP for it, but not that much over MSRP. I paid $70 for this, right? But for this particular place to charge you $130 is just crazy. You must be crazy because I've seen these for cheaper everywhere else. Here in my area, you can't find that at MSRP, so don't even look. But I've seen them at $80. I've seen them at $90, I've seen them at $100. I wouldn't buy it at $100, I'd probably pay $80 or $90 because I do love it so much, but I wouldn't pay $100 or at that point go over $100. So at $130, if you're buying Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel, I have to tell you, let me break the news for you. You must be crazy because that is not worth $130. Again, there's other toasted and double oat uh, bourbons out there that you can buy at cheaper than this $130 overly priced bourbon. Now, if you haven't had it, if it's your first bottle, I would maybe, maybe, just maybe pay up to $100. This one I, I paid 70 and my second bottle I paid 70, no, I paid a little bit under, I, th I think it was like almost 70, 68 bucks or whatever. But I would never pay over 80 for this bottle. Me particularly, I've already had it. If it's your first bottle and you really, really want to buy it, I would say no more than a hundred dollars. And that is really, really stretching. But at $130, if you buy this, you, must be crazy. For this next one, I'm gonna need a drink. I don't trust that Peerless anymore, so let's see. You know what? We're gonna go with the good old Rare Breed. Uh, get a little bit of that. So, yeah, this next one is definitely gonna need a drink. Because Jack Daniels released two. Yes, two limited releases this year. One was the 10 year old, which I have right here. There's some glassware in the way, so I'm not gonna get it out for you, but I have it here. I bought it at 120, 125 bucks. They also released a limited release, and it was kind of like their yearly limited release, not the 10 year included. It, it was basically like the rye of last year, and that is Jack Daniels Koi Hill, uh, whatever proof. There were bottles out there that were like hazmat, um, over 140 proof. I've heard, I've never really actually seen a bottle until I saw this one. Yep. In my area, I've never seen one. I walk into this store and I see this on the shelf and I'm like, how much do you guys want for that? $500. Guys, this is a $70 MSRP bottle. Good luck finding it at MSRP because it's very, very limited. And here's the even more crazier part. Well, first off, you must be crazy for spending $500 on this. But even crazier than that is that I asked the person the next day because I didn't see it up there. So basically the story goes, I went in there, I saw a bottle that I liked. I told them, hey, do you, what else do you guys have? They said, well, we're getting so-and-so in tomorrow. Do you want me to save it for you? I said, yes, yes, save it for me. Perfect, they put it aside for me. I went the next day. But that first day I saw this Koi Hill, took a picture of it. The very next day, Koi Hill was gone. Yeah. I asked the guy, what happened to Koi Hill? Oh, somebody came and bought it. Actually, two people came, um, said they wanted it. One person called me and told me that they were driving down here to buy it at $500. But then another guy came in and paid me $50 over. So I just gave it to him. Wow. Wow. $550. You must be freaking crazy to pay $550 for this. Again, I get it, it's limited. 
everybody is still remembering what happened last year with the with the ride that you couldn't find it anywhere and maybe prices at least online shot up to like seven hundred and fifty dollars i get it but i wouldn't buy this at 550 would you this is ridiculous guys and i can't even blame the store you know you know what you must be crazy store for, for putting it at five hundred dollars but at the end of the day whiskey is only or products let's just say products overall is only worth what somebody is willing to pay for it obviously two people were willing to pay five hundred dollars for this and one of them was even willing to pay fifty dollars more than the price that they had it for that is just crazy now this is considering the fact that the store owner wasn't lying to me but why would he like what what does he get out of that so considering the fact that this story is true it is insane that somebody paid 550 dollars for this yeah now you know why i needed the drink that is just crazy guys crazy cheers <laughs> person that was gonna buy this at 500 dollars you must be crazy person that bought this at $50 over the listed $500 price. You are even crazier. You you must be, you deserve a straight jacket. Cause that is just in freaking sane. No other way to put it. Well, I don't know guys, you let me know. Am, am I crazy for thinking that these prices are crazy? Uh, it's just ridiculous to me. Anyways, either people have a lot of money to throw away, or, or I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Let me know. Comment below. Have you seen these bottles anywhere? What was the prices that you seen them? And what is the most that you would pay for any of these bottles? Comment below. Please help me out. Please subscribe. That is the only favor that I ask. You can also check out the Patreon, like and comment, click that bell icon. I'm gonna keep enjoying the rest of my rare breed here. And kind of think about spending $550 on that Core Hill. Wow. But I want you to enjoy that whiskey. As long as it's not overly priced like these were. Cheers.